Welcome back everybody to more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. We're on Green Country Club today. We're going to play all 18 regular tees, teeny cups. This is the setup for the qualifier for the EG Cup. And I haven't actually played this setup and set an 18 hole score. Um, we're going to use our standard clubs. Mostly because I don't think we're going to get custom clubs. But I don't quite know what the setup is going to be. I'll find out at the time of recording tomorrow, but today as you look at it, I suspect it'll be sort of level 20 power again, the medium club setup, but I don't really know. So I'm going to play it with my standard clubs, because really this is about figuring out the course management side of this, as in where do I put the ball. So we'll just try and figure out which ones we need to manage the course a little bit better on. And where can we take some risks? So first I'll just like, so you, can, you can drive as hard as you can. You should get a reasonable second shot. But definitely birdieable. Right, so I've played the front nine on Teeny. So two's round the corner. Actually makes it pretty easy for you because you've got no choice really. Nice and straight, no corners to cut. Oh, nice shot. The other question is where do you play your power shots? Where does that extra 10 yards make a difference? And so 175 to go. Going to be a 5 iron up there. It's weak win today, which I don't think we'll get when we play. For real. Yeah, I was a bit short. 17 foot pop. Looks like it slopes up. Breaks to the left. So this one's probably eagleable then. You get that second shot close, you can get an eagle here. Nice eagle! Nice! Nailed it! Nice eagle! Oh you're good. Hmm, it's a par three next. It's a par three. Okay. Five iron. Hit. Oh, the top spin. Bravo. Nice shot. Good. Nice. Nice shot. good. Good. Ah, oh, the RNG. Oh, well, the bounce got me, didn't it? Perfect. Chance for a birdie. Teeny cup, so it's still tricky, even when it's six foot. Cool. Nice. Got it. Yeah, I've got this. It's a four under. Hold four. It's a par four. Well, four's round the corner, but I don't think I can get round there anyway, so this is just a question of playing it up as far as you can up here. And getting ourselves a nice second shot. Oh, nice shot! Nice shot. So that leaves me 95. You can probably play a bit further right there as well. A little bit of wind, but nothing much. That's not far away. Could have done with a smidgen more power. Looks like it slopes up. Shouting, don't get flustered while I'm trying to take a shot. Helpful. There you go, birdie. Five under. Oh, you're good. So we're doing all right, we're doing all right. It's a par four. So again, a bit of a bend in this one. Oh, it's the impact point that's worrying me. Where am I going to land it? And even with ultra side and top spin. All right, though, should be over the fairway. Is the question about? Yeah, we're not going to run out. Okay, so we can just hit that. So that leaves us a hundred. Bit of a tree in the way. Looks good. 
champion. That's not far away. It's possible. Oh, that buggy. Oh, it's still a tricky putt, though, isn't it? Yeah, got it. So that gets us to six under. Leaving ourselves some nice short putts, which is always helpful. Again, six, just hit it. Not entirely sure why I've used the power shot. Oh, neat shot. You never know, ten yards might be the difference. Might take me a club down. Suspect it won't, though, because I suspect, yeah, can't quite get it to approach range, so actually there's no point on six play in the power shot, really. Unless you can get it inside approach range. So this one's a little bit uphill. Needs a little bit more on it. Ooh, just a bit too much. I left myself a tricky part. 12 foot. Ooh, it's not a bad break. Sloping uphill. Got it. Nice so that gets a seven. Oh, you're I parred that last time. Oh, seven. It's up. All right. Ah, oh, the pin's right over there this time. Yesterday I played it was right over here. It's a six iron at the pin. Got the top spin. Oh, nice shot. Is it going to get on the front? No, I just hit that rough. That's okay, 12 foot. Bit of break. Get in there. Oh, just. That's eight under. Four, five to finish the first nine. It's a par four. So again, I'm not sure you can get that within approach range. It's probably not worth the power shot, to be honest. Might as well just concentrate on getting a solid impact. Put in the best spot you can. That's all right. So 86 to go. Again, it's another approach wedge up there. A little bit uphill. Bit of crosswind. Didn't get all the impact I wanted. Yeah, it's just died on me, hasn't it? So a tricky little ten foot part. Looks like it slopes up. It's uphill though, so I can hit it firm. Oh just didn't drop for me. Even oh, that's our first par of the round. Oh man, it's a par five. Now nah, I should just be able to drive. Yeah, might use the power shot. See how close I can get it to the front. Keep going. Masterful. Yeah, it's probably worth it there. So 175 to go. Bit of wind. Pin's nice and attackable. It's a little bit downhill. It's a five iron, so it'll it'll wanna run. Oh nice shot. You're amazing. Yeah, too much on it. Just gonna out the back. Chip time. That's the first time we've had a chip, I think. Managed to find the greens mostly. Yeah, caught it a bit thick. Just seems to go short and short and right when you do that. So, I've still got a birdie putt though, but there's an eagle to be had on nine for sure. Oh, you're good. So, out in 27, it's all right. It's a par four.
So second nine holes. Ten's pretty pretty straight from what I remember. A little bit of a crosswind. Worth a power shot just to get it over that ridge, maybe? Let's give it a go. A little bit more wind this time. We got hold of it. Keep going. Oh, nice shot. That's great. That's good to me. Gonna get over that and roll down. Oh, not quite. Need a little bit more. So 80 yards to go. It's a long way downhill. A little bit of wind. Got the top spin I wanted. Steady. What about where it lands? Ooh. Oh, it's not far away at all. Oh, well, well. Nice goal for the birdie. Okay. Oh, God, you're <laughs> yes. Got it. So 10 under after 10. Paul, 11. It's a par 4. So 11 again, I assume. Yeah, just drive up to the corner, really. That's about all you can do. Actually, the shorter clubs, I mean, you don't have many choices. you just got to play it as it goes. Oh, I caught the corner there. It's probably better, actually, to catch the corner because it gets you closer to the corner. So 64 to go. Approach wedge again. Bit of wind. Got the top spin. Good, good. Yeah, it just ended up being a little bit short. But again, possible. Right in the middle. So that gets us to 11. Is a par three. So if you can score this heavily, you wonder what the cut's going to be, because you can, you can, you can probably get eighteen easy on this. And there'll be some people who are going to get twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Bravo! Because there's quite a few oh, eagles bit overhit that. There's a lot of eagles to be had. Cool chance for a birdie. So this breaks early and then eases off, down, I but I can't hit it full pace. Oh, this is a tricky one to judge. And it'll go scooting by if I overhit it. Yeah, look at that, it's just going to keep going. It didn't break at the end, I thought it would break when it slowed down. But I suppose I didn't slow it down enough. So I'll take a par there, it's a drop shot. Even Thank you. But again, got to get it closer. Got to get it closer on 12. It's a powerful. So 13's got this little elevated finish. Again, you can't drive it, which is good. So it's all about giving yourself a good position. Looking where the T is. Looking where the pin is. I mean, you could try and take yourself up to the bunker isn't the way, but I don't think the bunker's going to be in play. You just want to get close up to it. Because you're going to have to play a chip up and over anyway. I might turn the approach off. Because it is going to need a little bit of mustard on it. Just to counteract the altitude. It's quite a flat shot when you play it with top spin. That was too much, wasn't it? Oh, great play. So I left myself a tricky downhill part. Don't touch it. Sloping downhill. Oh, crikey. Next to the left. Cheers, Suzuki. Let's play with about 12 foot pace about there. Come on. It's going to need to go in. Oh. Yes. Got gotta get, gotta get closer for the for the threes and the fours. It's par five next. Oh, 14. It's a par five. Again, I don't think there's any choice. You just got to hit it. Got hold of it. Hopefully, just get past the corner, get a good shot into the pin. Well, One sixty-five to go. Plenty of plenty of green to work with. Six iron up there. 
Ah, I missed the impact. It's gone a bit left. Pace should be alright though. Keep going, there you go. I'll have a chip, please. Gonna be easier than a putt on this. Right. Gotta be gotta be a little bit clever with this one. It is gonna break to the left. Champion! Oh, not enough pace and it broke. Oh, again, that's eagleable for certain. You get that close enough. There's an eagle to be had. In fact, all the fives. None of those fives are particularly out of range. It's a 13. 15. It's a path. 15 straight. Again, I've got loads of power shots now. Assuming I don't miss the shot, they're worth taking. Just going to get past that little little knuckle. What's that going to leave me? About 100? About 80. 80. Nearly 90. Okay. I mean, it's approach wedge all the way, isn't it? Looks good. Champion! Oh, go on. It's a six foot for the birdie. Oh! That needed hitting harder. Another drop shot. A par. That's three pars so far. It's a 16, longish par three. What's that surface going to do? So it's going to kick it. Okay. Nice and so much to play it without the wind. Try and figure out the shots and then when the wind... Yeah, it really kicks it left, doesn't it, there? So that's something to be wary of. Well, I suppose on the, the right side of it. That's not enough power needs to go up on. It's nice to know there's um Oh just gonna die on me. Not enough power again. I've under hit a lot of putts today. But again, it's why we practice so we can improve. Thank you. Nice one. Hole 17. It's a par four. It's a 17 round the corner. How much of that can you take off? Oh, I missed it. Gonna go left. Perversely left's alright. So much fairway there. So 95 to go. Again, another approach wedge. A little bit uphill. Oh, good shot. Steady. Good, good. Go on. For a wow, I needed to get it close. Look at the slope on that. Okay, nice birdie. All right. So back on the birdies. Eighteen to come. Last one. Oh, 18. It's a par five. All right. We got hold of it. Oh, good shot. Just want to get past the corner, get a clear shot at it. It's going to be a long iron, isn't it? Five, six iron. Three iron. Okay. Bit of right hand sway. Champion! Where's that going to end up? Oh, that's okay. It's going to be about seven foot. Amazing. Perfect. Oh, for the eagle. Oh my days! Look at that slow. Oh, wasn't enough. For that buddy. Ah, take a bird at the end, but. Again, there's an eagle there. So all the fives are eagleable. Get rid of the pass. 15, 6, 7, 18. You could, you could get 20, 21 under, actually. 
got to take your shots though. We hit every ferry, every green, so it's not going to be that sort of challenge. But it is, it's getting it close, it's getting it in the right spots, that's what we need to practice. Give ourselves maximum chance to get a birdie in every hole. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll probably play this a little bit more this week, get a bit of practice in, and I'll live stream my qualifier attempt on Sunday night, I think. So I'll see you next time for a little bit more of your Biddy's Golf.